Hello everyone, welcome back to Brain Logic. In this video, we go solve this really interesting and tricky algebra question. We have 3 plus 3 plus 3 and times 0. What's the correct answer? Right here we have three options, A, B and C. So here is our question, what is the correct answer? Because this is a very simple question, everyone learned addition and multiplication in the third grade, so everyone know about this operation. But what about this correct answer? 0, 3 or 9? I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself and we will solve our question here in just one minute. It will be a really interesting and very tricky question, just trust me. So here is our question and I want to mention one really interesting moment because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand one really important moment. What is the correct order to do this problem? Because from school you need to know that it doesn't matter what number you multiply by 0, for example 4 times 0. If you multiply by zero you have you have zero and a lot of students might think about this question that this expression times zero equal to zero for example like we have 100 times zero this is equal to equal to zero so as you can see many students do this common mistake they say okay this multiplication by zero give us zero because we have expression times zero equal to equal to zero doesn't matter 100 4 25 doesn't matter what expression but then i answer them okay we need to know about a correct order of operation and for this question i show them okay what about this pim dmc and for example i show them this board mass so two order of order of operation this is the main popular order of operation in the world all internet libraries scientific graphing calculator works according to pim dmc because this is the main popular order of operation and I want to show that bad mass in this question works absolutely the same as PMDMC. So this is two both similar methods, two similar order of operation if you're talking about this question, because we need to, to look at this multiplication and division part. So right here we have division multiplication part and right here multiplication and division part. As you can easily see that right here addition and subtraction is after division and multiplication, because it works from the top to the bottom. Yeah, the first step brackets, parentheses, then exponent, then multiplication, division and addition and subtraction. So as you can see, addition and subtraction is after multiplication and division, is after that. So we need to add and before this we need to multiply, okay? I just take this board mass away because this is absolutely the same in our case, absolutely the same method in our case and let's write our question. So we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 and times 0. So as I told before, 0 is absolutely incorrect answer. So if you're talking about option A, this is absolutely incorrect because we need to look at order of operation. As I told before, PMDMC. Okay, we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, we have multiplication and division part, and in, in our case we have multiplication part. So now we need to find this part. Where do we have this part? Right here we have this part three times, three times zero. We have this part right here, so we need to multiply only this three by zero. We don't need to multiply all this expression by zero which, which give us zero. So we have three plus three plus three, we have three plus three plus 3 and this 3 times 0 as I told before doesn't matter what number times 0 give us 0 and we have plus 0 okay which right here we multiply it so right now we don't have multiplication and division part we still have addition and subtraction so we add four really great numbers so 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 0 equal to equal to 9 yeah as and as you can see this is no 0 which is a very like popular mistake I would say a lot of students do this common mistake so in our case our correct answer is option option C and then I write this problem once more so 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 and times 0 and then I ask to my students okay what about this you write 0 okay you wrote 0 but how if this is incorrect but how can you create this answer correct how can you what did what do you need to add to this expression to get this 0 and then a lot of students think about it they understand that their answer 0 is incorrect but then they look at this PMDMC order and they say okay if we parentheses is the first step then if you put brackets right here if you put parentheses then 0 is a correct answer yeah but in our case we don't have any parentheses, so our correct answer is option option C. Option 0 is incorrect, but in this case, if you have parentheses, this is absolutely correct because we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equal to 12. Yeah, we have like 12 times 0 equal to equal to 0. Yeah. But in our case, we don't have parentheses, so the correct answer is option option C. So here is my explanation. I hope you understand this explanation. If you still have any question, write your question in the comment. Wish you all the best in your life. Take care and have a great day. See you in the next videos.